hello everyone this is reflex taking on the tutorial on smudge painting uh, happy new year to everyone wishing you the best during this year uh, firstly we have to change the image resolution I uh, prefer using 300 for industrial qualification so after that we we'll move to change the background there are so many tools we make use of why change the background but on this particular tutorial I'm going to use my quick selection tool and also my polygon analyzer tool and my quick selection tool I'm going to use the select object it automatically detect the content on the page after that I click my ctrl J to create an empty new layer as you can see our empty new layer our layer image without the layer over there Step 2 is making use of the camera raw filter. I think this is one of the most basic steps you need the most. Uh, go to your filter. After that, click on your camera raw. Then you increase your clarity and also your DS until you save it. The clarity and DS help to make the image a little more bolder. So increase until you see fit and also if your image is a little bit dark increase the brightness and the exposure if it's a little too bright also decrease it so once you're done with that you click your OK as you can see we have something here next you duplicate that particular layer by pressing, pressing Ctrl J Or dragging it to the layer icon once you're done with that go to your filter sharpen then on sharp max on sharp max i think i'll be making use of uh let me 152 so after that now our next step is for we to pick the brush and uh, the brush is 1000 area if you are willing to get the brush you can contact me on my phone number you saw before and now I'm going to use my brush strength to be 25 then my brush size should be 125 also you can use any brush size but the strength make sure it's no more than 25 then you smudge gently to protect the highlights of the image to make the facial structure still be there you can zoom in to get a better view uh, it's not compulsory to get it right the first time just go right little by little little by little as you can see I think it's getting better than the previous image we have little by little meet the guys at the head of the smudge
Okay, I think we are we are going to turn something right there. Keep smudging. I can go over the area you smudge, but you see it's not smooth enough. As you can see over here, I'm turning back to the former place I smudged to make sure it's more smoother than the last one. Okay, I think we are done with the face. So now the next step is for we to crop the it so smart the year I mean. This time I have to reduce the brush size to maybe 20, 30, 40 so that I won't clean some major parts of the year. Okay, I think we're done with that. So now we go to the second year. Once we're done with the second year, it's always too small the clothes. Firstly, I prefer to crop out the clothes from the image so that while smudging it, it only reflects on the skin. So I use my quick selection tool to select it. Then I see some area that I've not cropped out, so I use my polygonal axis to there to crop it out. So once I'm done with that, I go to the other side too. Okay, so now I press Ctrl J to create a new a new layer for it. I think I I think I work with it. So now I smudge over the clothes. Now this time around, I increase my brush strength to maybe 40, 50, 60, sometimes up to 70. But right now I'll be making use of 30. The reason why I increase my brush strength is to make it faster and more smoother. Okay, so the next step I'm going to create a clipping mark to clip it on the image below. So the next step is for me to apply the oil paints on the hair and the bed and the brows. So what I need to do now is to pick my polygonal axis too, then select the hair. Uh, for it to get a nice angle, make sure you zoom in to maybe the full extent for you to see what you are cropping out sometimes you can customize your cropping you don't need to follow the shapes but for you to create something that looks exactly like the image you have to follow everything, the lines the carving in the air once you make the rock ground cropping you can go back by pressing ctrl z to revert it or by pressing the delete key Ok, 
okay we are done with the hair now the next step is for we to crop the eyebrows Okay, once we're done with that, now we have to crop the bed, even though it's a little bit there, it still has to be there. So now we're done with the cropping, all we have to do is go to the image layer, then press Ctrl J. So now we move it to the upper layer, uppermost layer. Now we go to filter, we go to stylish, then oil paint. Uh, this oil paint is somehow trickish. You can use anything you want. You can reduce the stylization, the clean cleanliness. You can reduce the brister detail. Depends on what you need on the image. And for you to get what you need, you have to zoom in a little bit closer to see what you've done so far. Once you're done, then click OK. Then wait for it to load. I think we have a nice open there. So the next step is for you to apply color, both on the skin, the hair, the teeth, the lips, and everything. So next thing for me to do is to use my quick selection tool, select the face area, then Ctrl J it. After that. I have control click on it, right click, then go to fill, then choose my color. You can use any skin tone you want, there's no perfect skin tone. Just keep selecting until you get something nice or something that suits the particular picture you are making use of. Then click your OK, this time around, go to color, sorry, color then reduce the opacity okay I think this one is still somewhat manageable even though it's not that perfect you can still change the color again fill color look for something lighter then click your ok ok I think this one is somewhat good than the previous one so can increase the opacity a little bit or decrease it if you wish now the next step is for we to clean out some parts that the colors are on e.g. the air we do that by creating a clear layer a clipping max on the color layer then by picking our brush changing it to black to clean it out okay i think we're done with that uh, now the next step is for we to create a new layer so app apply color on the air the edge is somehow whitish sorry i uh, reduce our opacity to maybe 20 or 30 if you wish then apply colors on the air the brows then the bed once you're done with that we're going to clip it on it mm, i think we have something nice here so we can just reduce the opacity a little bit or clean out some areas we don't want it to be I think you have something nice over here. I'm also done with that. You can go back now, this time around, reduce your bra strength to 15 or 10, then increase your bra size to maybe 100, 150, then smudge over the 
picture again to get the perfect smudge to make it more smoother than before once we're done with the darts is to create a strand on the air so that it will look as if someone cropped the air out it will look perfect there while creating the strand uh, you have to make your broad strength system around uh, it has to be 60 and above and you can use the brush you use on your smudge on the air it has some different separate brush as you can see the brush over here it's not it's different from the first brush you use for the smudging as you can see the strand we are creating right now it doesn't look as if we crop the picture out of its original background you can see it doesn't look as if we crop it out of any background so now the next step is to crop out the area we made mistake oh, sorry is to fill the color for the eye and to apply color on the lips too first we'll go with the eye you will pick your polygonal axis to select the area you want to apply color on once you're done with that press your ctrl j to create a new layer for it once you're done with that you right click go to fill color now select white okay okay take it to the uppermost layer now change the blending mode to color i think our white our height is somehow whitish in nature right now okay we're done with that next step we to apply color on the lip now we're going to select the lip color over here now which is our brush size to 10 or 12 now we'll start applying the color on it make sure you look for the color that matches the lips of the person you are smudging I think you have something nice over here. Once we're done with that, we create a new group for everything by pressing selecting us pressing Ctrl G. So my next step is creating a background. Uh, I prefer using a gradient for my background. Firstly, I create this white solid color. Banner. 